So my name is James Neuenschwander. Uh, everybody calls me Dr. New. I am an MD. I graduated from the University of Michigan uh, in Ann Arbor um, a long time ago. Uh, 1985. Uh, I have board certifications in both emergency medicine and integrative medicine. Uh, I am a retired ER physician and I full-time have an integrated medical practice where basically it's integrated family medicine. So about 25% of the people I see are kids, the rest are adults. Pretty much everybody has some type of chronic medical condition, and we do see a lot of kids on the autism spectrum. Uh, I am involved with Medical Academy of Pediatric Special Needs, and I am uh, their conference co-chair, uh, and that's a group uh, dedicated to integrative treatment of kids. You know, if you're living in an area where mold is just not a problem, I'm not sure whether it is, maybe the moon, but if you live in an area where mold just isn't a problem, then maybe you're not gonna be leaning as heavily on the mycotox as what I, I do. But environmental toxins are a problem for a lot of people in a lot of areas, you know? So there's very few of my patients that live in, you know, the Garden of Eden where they don't have to worry about toxins. Um, the, so most of the time that's on the list. And then the mycotoxins, it's, it's more, you know, I'm gonna ask these patients questions. You know, when was your house built? Was there water damage? You know, has there been a flood in the basement? Have you ever had a leaky pipe? Where did you live before? What's your work environment like? You know, are you an avid used book collector? You know, just things that are gonna say, oh boy. And, um, you know, one of the nice things, and I mentioned this in my lecture today, one of the nice things about virtual visits is I get to visit people's homes, right? I get to, and I remember a patient who I sort of said, I think you're mold toxic before I ever saw her home. And one of her follow-up visits, we did it via, uh, it was a remote visit. So here she is sitting there. She's sitting in a chair, it, it's a cloth chair. She has an Afghan, Afghan over the back of the chair and behind her are three bookcases packed full of paperback books. And it's like, you know that's a moldy environment you're sitting in right now. Well, this is my bedroom. It's like, okay, you need to sleep in the basement because this is moldy right here because she couldn't figure out where the mold came from. You know, and she uh, learned about mycotoxins, learned how to clear them from the environment and spent a lot of time cleaning up her house, including throwing out a lot of books. There were tears involved when she had to do that.